Thank you for letting me come read to you today. Um, so let me see here. I'm reading a book to you. It's called Kindergarten, Here I Come. You guys are getting ready for kindergarten, aren't you? Yes. Yes. So let's see what's going on in here. It says, kindergarten, here I come. Kindergarten, I'm checking off the list of everything I need for school. Let's see, what have I missed? I hope you can see that pretty good. Can you see? Yeah. All right. And he says, backpack, check. Glue stick, check. A labeled cubby box, check. Extra pair of underwear, an extra pair of socks, check. Crayons, check. Scissors, check. Mom says I'm all set, but wait, there are tons of other stuff I better not forget. My cuddle bear, my magic wand, my superhero cape, two flashlights, and a tool set in case I must escape. Look at that, he is all ready. He's got everything ready to go, huh? Mom says to put those things back where I took them from. She says I won't need that stuff. She promised school won't be too rough. I hope she's right. I really do. Because kindergarten here. And he gives his mom a hug. He's being very brave. My teacher did a magic trick the minute that I came. I don't know how, but presto, poof, she somehow knew my name. Then, bam, she figured out I'm nice and magic spells to make the whole day fun. Of all the teachers in the world, I'm glad she's my one. She looks like a pretty nice teacher. All right, let's see here. Crisscross applesauce, that's the way we sit. Not feet out sauerkraut. Not cottage cheese on our knees. No bottoms up coffee cup not blueberry jelly on your belly, but crisscross applesauce. That's the way we sit. Then we had story time. Goblins, bunnies, kings and queens, cats and hats and magic beans. Once upon a far away, which book will we read today? Wow, kindergarten seems interesting. The yellow lunchbox. I love you, yellow lunchbox. Click, I open you to see. What treasures lie inside today? What did my mom pack for me? Aha, so there you are, below those good things I should eat. I found you, chocolate cupcake. You're my favorite part, the treat. So this is like a book of poems about kindergarten. So the next one says, missing tooth. I was munching on my apple when suddenly crunch, my tongue felt something missing and I had a little hunch. Out came a tiny pebble, all shiny, smooth and white. Hey, look. The Tooth Fairy's coming to my house tonight. He has his apple and he lost his tooth in the apple. Recess. I'm a fireman to the rescue. Down the pole I slide. Look now, I'm a monkey swinging side to side. 
I'm a climber up a mountain. I'm queen of this whole town. Check me out. I'm a bat hanging upside down. Watch me creep across the beam. I'm a sneaky thief, raccoon. I'm the pilot of a rocket ship zooming to the moon. I'm only half an hour. In only half an hour, we are all these things and more till recess time is over and we head back in the door. So we see the guys are playing on the swings and the slide. Wow, kindergarten is gonna be great. Counting craze. There are 22 children in the room. Here in room 109, a guinea pig, three goldfish, and one cuddle bear, mine. There's one really nice teacher with eight buttons on her dress and one billion purple polka dots, more or less. There are 39 crowns that fell out of the box, 53 cars and 87 blocks, 24 food cans in our make-believe shop. Oh, help, I've learned, to, I've learned how to count. Now I just can't stop. He is counting everything in the room. I know you guys have been counting too. No nap rep. I'm not tired, I'm not sleepy, I'm wide awake, you see. It's daytime, it's my playtime. You say nap time, not for me. I'll lie flat on upon the mat, but I'm not counting sheep. You can snooze, but I refuse. Oh no, I will not go to... <sighs> and he fell asleep anyway. He thought he wasn't tired, but he went to sleep. Field trip, hooray, hooray, a field trip day. Adventures in the air. Driver, driver, please don't stop until you get us there. We squeal and hoot, we screech and roar and stomp the whole way through just like a bunch of animals until we reach the zoo. Now, when you guys get the kindergarten, hopefully we'll all be back inside enjoying each other and going on field trips again. That would be really nice. Best friends. Heather was my best friend this morning on the bus. She talked so much to Shauna that I made my best friend Gus, but Gus said he was Noah's friend and wouldn't take it back. So I had to go and trade him for a better best friend, Zach. Zach wouldn't share the box of blocks. So what else could I do? At lunchtime, I sat right down beside my newest best friend, Sue. Then Sue ate half my cupcake. I didn't say she could. In art, I was all by myself. I was done with friends for good. Then someone came and asked me, can we paint together? Hmm. So we have lots of friends and different experiences. All right, let's see what happens. So, on the bus ride home again, my new, new best friend was Heather. <laughs> George, I have a kindergarten friend who isn't very big. I'm talking about George Washington, our classroom guinea pig. I always stop to talk to him about the stuff we like. I tell him what's on TV and how to ride a bike. I'm teaching him his ABCs and how to draw a heart. He always pays attention. <laughs> that George is clearly very smart. He's holding the guinea pig. All right. 
Ah, okay. 100th day of school, I brought 100 marbles inside my plastic cup. Zach brought 100 chocolate chips till someone ate them up. <laughs> Nina's 100 toothpicks all came inside one box. Aaliyah brought a picture of her 100 chicken pox. I used to think 100 was all, but now that it's the 100th day, I am old enough to say 100 isn't that all that many, many days at all. 100 doesn't take too long. show and tell today's my turn for show and tell but somehow i forgot i could have brought in cuddle bear or else my new robot i could have brought my snow globe or my cool vacation hat i could have brought my goldfish except i didn't think of that so now my hands are empty and my teacher's calling me but hang on I see something staring right in front of me. Quick, I draw two dots on my finger while I stand. Then I make my thumb into a mouth. Hi class, please meet my hand. That was pretty clever. Line leaders, line up time, it's a race. Everybody wants first place, but I go slowly. I don't run because I'm the line leader. I was picked the line leader. So make way kids for number one. Growing seeds. We planted seeds in paper cups and put them on the windowsill. We watered them and watched and watched and watched those cups until. I peeked today and check it out, a little baby seedling spout. Growing me. What happened to my favorite pants? The ones that used to fit. Now they come up to my knees when I try to sit. My toes can't wiggle in my shoes the way they used to. I think somebody shrunk my clothes or could it be that I grew? Look at that, his clothes don't fit anymore. He's getting to be a big boy. Last day, I hugged my teacher, please don't cry. And she said, beg your pardon? I said, we're going to first grade, but you're stuck in kindergarten. <laughs> so it was the last day of school and he's saying goodbye to his teacher. Kindergarten, here I come. Thank you guys for letting me read to you. I really enjoyed it. I hope you can see the book and uh, hopefully we'll send it to you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Did you guys enjoy the book? Yeah. It was a good book. <laughs> so can we all tell Miss Dana thank you on three? Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>